Okay, so we've had a quick look at wall properties. And uh, again, if you haven't tried that, just make sure you do select one of the walls to see the properties come up. And for the walls you've drawn, they should all be fairly similar. Then scrolling on to the next page, you can see there's a step there that shows you how to make a 3D view. And probably the easiest way at first is to go to the View tab and then click on the button that looks like a house, a 3D house. So I'm just going to do that. So here at the top you've got the View tab. And then you should see a big 3D house. Notice how there's a little icon up the top that looks the same on the button or on the quick access bar right at the top. That does the same thing. Okay, so you do this so much, you can always, or so often, you can always just choose it from there. So this is just to show you where it lives on the main view tab. So clicking on, again, the top part of the button there. and we get an isometric view. So you can zoom in and out just like normal on these views and then select things again just by clicking on them. So I'll start with just one wall and then we'll do the whole lot. It's going to click on one of these four main walls and then over in properties you'll see top constraint. And I'm going to change that to the highest level which is 03CL level 2 and that should change the height of the wall. Yeah. Now, has anyone worked out how to select more than one object at a time? You can actually. You can. That works. It does. Yep. There's another way that might be a bit easier here. Okay. So if you've been looking on the um, bottom left corner, you'll see it tells you how to select multiple objects. Yep. So you'll see it says click to select, tab for alternates, we'll come back to that, but then control to add, shift to unselect. Yep. So where it says click to select, tab for alternates, control adds, shift unselects, very bottom left. Okay, so control adds. If we hold down the control key, you get a little plus next to your cursor and you can select multiple objects. Okay, so now I can change the top constraint for all three walls together to that level. 